next video, I want to discuss variations on the straight leg raise test to bias different nerves of the lower leg. Um, the acronym you can use is TED, SID, and PIP, which describes the different nerves. It's a nice acronym for the different nerves combined with the position of the ankle that stresses them or tests them. So I like to block and really control the position of the ankle. So I'm going to utilize a blocking position with my forearms on the leg for each of these. I'm going to start with TED, which stands for tibial nerve test, um, utilizing an ankle position of eversion and dorsiflexion. So I'm going to block her into eversion and dorsiflexion. I'm using this levering oh, position perfect. to maintain the knee extension oh, as I bring her into hip flexion and assess for symptoms. If she has symptoms, I can move her out of that ankle position or I can move her out of a little bit of hip flexion. Next test position is going to be SID, so sural nerve in inversion and dorsiflexion. So I'm going to block her, change the position that I'm blocking at the ankle. I'm still going to utilize a similar technique in raising her up. And I can utilize structural differentiation as well if she has symptoms. So bringing her out of that ankle position or bringing her out of some of the hip flexion. The last position we're going to go through is PIP, so common peroneal nerve, P. Um, she's going to be in inversion and plantar flexion. So this one I'm going to block just like that before I bring her up. Similar to the other tests, if she has symptoms, I can let off pressure at the ankle or let off motion at the hip.